Hey guys, how are you? Another new lesson here. Ancient Greece is the topic. Uh, you've probably done the Cyclops and the Centaur by now. This one is going to be Hercules versus the Hydra. The Hydra was a seven-headed snake. Okay, I'll talk more about him as I draw him. As usual, I want to do this a little quick so it's not long and boring. So I'm going to write the word Hercules down here. You may have, you've probably heard of Hercules. Ancient Greek hero was sent to do a lot of jobs because he had done a bad thing. So to make up for it, he had one of the things he had to do was kill the Hydra who lived in a swamp. And the Hydra's breath was poisonous. Even his breath could kill you. It had seven heads, like I said. So we're going to start with this. Go up once and then loop around, all right? This is going to become the, the snake's body. Now, and then I'm going to get smaller and smaller as I come around. So it kind of comes to a point. Okay, now I did that pretty fast. You might want to spend some time doing that. It's an important part of the Hydra. I'm going to start with one snake head. We have to make seven, but they're all kind of the same. So watch this. I'm going to go up like this. It's almost like a question mark, right? I want to do it again. And I, you always want to get smaller as you go up. Okay, so that's not that hard. So I'm going to put a V in there. That's how I'm going to start the mouth. That's easy. Semicircle for the nostril, and you can come up. Right? I like to put a little spike there. So that's the mouth. Then you just put these triangles in there for the teeth. An eyeball. Okay? Now I'm going to do that seven more times. I'm going to do that pretty quick because they're all basically made the same way. So watch this. I'm going to put a whole bunch back here first. Come around like that. Same thing. Triangle, right? Here's the head, the nose, teeth. Another one. Three. It's a little bit like drawing the head of the crocodile that we already drew. Four. Where am I? We can get some overlapping in here. It's the only way you're going to be able to get it done, really, too. Uh, okay. So I'm going to try to put a few over here now. So watch this. This first one I'm going to bring down so I have some room in here. This is number five. Six. This drawing should take about two lessons, all right? If you do this right, it should take you like two 40 minute lessons, maybe an hour and a half. That's including the coloring in. This will be seven, three, and four. Seven. So we did it, all right? And I'm gonna show you a few cool details to add. All right. I like to add these like kind of curved triangles on the back. I call them, it's like a shark fin shape. I think it makes it look cool. Let's do back here. You might want to draw this slower than me, so you get the shapes correct. All right, put a few up here. You don't have to put them on every one. You can start making them different. Like, look, I can give this one horns, maybe. Maybe I give this one a back, a curly horn, right? Now, snakes, when they crawl around, watch this. I'm gonna trace this line. They have like an underbelly, right? That they use to grip onto the ground. And I'm just going to draw one of these now up here. And try to curve that line as you're doing that. Alright, so this one's kind of finished. And I'm going to ask my film person to show this one for a sec. Right, you're gonna to wanna to do that on every one, all right? And you can add horns and color it. I'm gonna jump over to Hercules for now, okay? Save some time here. 
I'm going to use ovals to make Hercules. So watch this. The reason he has a torch in his hand is because the rule, the myth was if you cut off one head, two would grow back. So you could never stop it from multiplying. So Hercules had the idea to use a torch to burn the stump shut. And that is how he killed the Hydra, by burning the stump shut. So I'm going to start with Hercules' leg. We're going to use a circle, an oval for the thigh, okay, the knee, and then you use this kind of a long oval for the calf and the foot. Now I'm making him like leaning forward, right, like he's working. So again, here's your thigh, the knee, the calf, and then the foot, okay? Now this can be a little tricky, watch this. Your spine actually isn't straight, it actually curves in, and then you have your rib cage, okay? And then you have your stomach. So there's your rib cage. You might want to watch that part over and over. To make a good arm, we're going to start doing this. A circle is your shoulder, your biceps, and then this part of your arm, your forearm. There's no muscle near your wrist, so it gets skinnier. That's the kind of shape you want, all right? And then your hand on that hand is like this because we're going to put the torch in that hand. So it's like an oval with a thumb sticking up, okay? The other shoulder you kind of couldn't see, so here's the bicep, elbow, I should have put an elbow in there, forearm, closed fists, thumb, okay, it's like this, you could put the fingers in there if you like, I'm going to put a sword in here, it's like drawing a letter T, the triangle, okay, here's a stick, which is a torch. I love drawing the flames on the torch. You're drawing basically like a wavy spike kind of a shape. And then all you do is do it twice. Come around and do it again. So you can color it in. Red and orange. All right. The head, watch this. Can really give him some energy like he's moving forward. You bend his neck forward, all right? If you want to get a good head shape, you should have a circle with like part of an oval down there, right? The nose comes out of there. Get your eye, your ear, okay? Now for fun, to make it easy, I'm gonna throw a beard on there. Hercules usually had a beard and big shaggy hair. He's a bit of a wild man, Hercules. And for his clothes, so you guys could erase. I can't with the marker, but we're gonna, he usually wore furs, a lion fur. So these are like fur pants. Okay, so that's the drawing. I'm gonna color it in real quick to give you guys some tips. You might be able to notice, I didn't just use one color on Hercules. I like to start with some orange, believe it or not. Where Hercules is from, and notice I'm not pressing that hard. I'm leaving some room on the paper for some other colors. It was Greece. Greece is in the Mediterranean, it's very sunny there. So I think people would get pretty tan from being outside. I'm mixing in some brown, right? Oh, I forgot his face. So see, if you're gonna need like three colors, I think, to get the skin right. I'm gonna put a little red in there. I'm gonna kinda 